Hi, I'm Karen Moore with Ageless Beauty Pro and welcome to one of my first makeup tutorials for Ageless Beauty. One thing I'm going to talk about today is something very, very simple. And I know there's a lot of makeup videos out there and a lot of things that you can use to learn, but I've learned a few little tips over the years and some things I'd like to share with you. Maybe some things that aren't so commonly known, things that have worked for me, and hopefully they can work for you too. The first one is after you get your makeup done, and I'm going to pass by that and let's assume you've got your full face of makeup done, but you want to add your last finishing touches to that. One fabulous product that I use, and I have a couple different ones I love, is the uh, brightening powder. And I put that on various areas. For instance, um, some of the creases, nose uh, to mouth lines, uh, down the center of my nose, uh, under my eyes right here, this little divot that starts to develop as we get older over my eyes, even right here up above the brow. You can use this stuff everywhere. And it's not like a regular shimmery highlighter because that has its use. This is a brightening powder. And one that I started using I really, really like is by Laura Mercier and it's the Secret Brightening Powder right there. It's a very fine milled powder. It's a, sort of just a slight yellowish cast creamy color and it is uh, very, you just need a minute amount and I like to use it on a camouflage brush and you can pick one of these up at the drugstore or at a high-end department store if you don't have one already and they're fabulous to use. I would recommend getting one of these brushes. Uh, I do like that Laura Mercier powder. I also have one at Ageless Beauty Pro. It's, uh, I can give you a little sample of it if you like. If you'd like to go to that site and just get a little sample to see if it works for you. It's just like a, a white and yellow ultra micro fine milled powder and you, you just touch it along the areas that you need it most. And I'm going to show you how to do that real quickly. You take the powder and just dip the tip of your brush in and tap it off. You really don't need much at all. And then once you get all your makeup done, your concealers on, your blush, your foundation, everything's done, then you just go along the areas that you really want to sort of uh, give some brightening to. If you've got some deep under, under eye hollows that are starting to develop, just go on and do that. And this powder just blends in amazingly. It's really nice. I use just a little here because I'm starting to get those little lines there. Another great tip is just under the lips and above the lips. And it gives you just that little bit of like mm, poof. Because as you know, darker things recede like lines and wrinkles and the sinking that we get into the face and we want to help make those protrude. So one of these brightening powders is really going to be your best friend and you'll really start seeing, you'll think, well maybe I don't need that step. If you have the time and you really want to, you know, uh, if you're tired that day or you really want to look your extra best, use one of these brightening powders. It's great. And that's the tip for today.